Today I'm making the Spider-Man on the Rainbow Loom. I have already um, mapped out my design on paper. It's good to do that because uh, you're able to document every step you're making. Um, the first prototype I made uh, kind of looks like a Spider-Man meets MC Hammer but I have already tweaked the design and today I am making that new design hopefully we will come up with a better looking Spider-Man before we start placing the bands we need to first prepare Spidey's arms so we loop a single band three times on the hook Then get two red bands and loop them into that first band. And that will be our hand or glove with three fingers, unfortunately. Then get two blue bands and loop them. Then another two, and then the last two. Secure them with a with a toothpick. So you could set them aside and there you have it, Spidey's arm. Okay, so we are now ready to place the bands on the loom. I am using uh, double bands and basically I will be following what I drew on paper for the Spider-Man design. And what is important to remember for most rainbow loom designs is that you need to go row by row. This is I call this the first row. Uh, even if it's in an offset configuration this is my first row this is my second and my third so I'm going one row at a time and it's important to remember not to skip a, a row when you are placing your bands because that is what causes uh, the problems for for most designs when they are pulled uh, off the loom you have to go row by by row and that's my first row and now going to the second row this is the the head area have a pair of diagonals and then uh, three uh, sets of, of verticals Now on to the third row. the third row and now the fourth row and, and onward this is the this is now the neck area we are are working on Actually, the, the shoulder.
and moving on to the hip area. legs and the boots Now we will attach the, the arms to the shoulders. Remember, remember the arms that we made uh, earlier? We're going to attach them to this area over here. These are the, the shoulders. arms over there. This is how it's supposed to look like when you're done placing your bands. Um, if you want you could pause the video and then check your design if you match what I have on the screen. So now we will be placing the horizontal bands that will hold the, the vertical bands together and you have to remember with this design which horizontal bands are double looped or single bands. Okay, in the head area I use a uh, double loop bands. See I just uh, twist a, a rubber band to itself and then put it here. The reason why I do this is so I will have a, a, a smaller head area. It kind of compresses the, the triple design uh, smaller than, than the torso. And then the same thing for this row over here. I use a a double looped uh, horizontal band. And then when we go to the 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 chest area, because well, most superheroes have a, a wider chest area, I only use the the single band hold it I one here uh, a single band and then when we get to the hip area we put another single band that is looped to itself to form a, a double looped uh, band and then uh, we place it here so those are our um, horizontal bands and then just a, as a last thing I put capping bands which I twist three times one two three I, I, I loop it that I twist it that way uh, onto the onto the pin here's another one one two and three sort of forms the the boot the front part of the boot and also holds the this row of bands together so this is how it's supposed to look like when your vertical bands and your horizontal bands are placed once again you could pause the video and check to see if your design matches the one on the screen